All right, we can call the meeting to order now. 6.02. Um, any adjustments to the uh, agenda tonight? I have one. Okay. Uh, and he's, he's here. The town meeting, uh, the town meeting study committee um, has a request for some funding, and I don't, I, I didn't check to see if he sent you this. I did. You did send this to everybody. I yeah. got some copies, yeah. but I don't know where they are. Much, but yeah. Okay, so that's uh, we can either do that now or oh yeah, here's the other copies. You'd probably like to get home rather than wait, wait till the end of the meeting, wouldn't you? So I was actually going by, and I thought if there were any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. And I also thought I had mentioned the start of the uh, professional audit, but I'd be happy to do that. At the end mm -hmm. of the does that go in here too? No, this is the what John has submitted. Chris. Okay. I did make copies of it. I just stapled them to something else. This, this <laughs> clip is not. Yeah, you, you, you're gonna have trouble getting that clip around that wad. Okay. Uh, uh, so you want to hold that until the treasurer's report? Would that be all right with you? Maybe ten uh, minutes at least. Yeah. <laughs> um, public comment. Approve bills and payroll orders. Uh, we're doing that. Um, approve minutes from the July twenty third select board meeting. Um, May twenty third. May twenty third. Did I say that? I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, anybody have any thoughts on this, or should we move it as read or as printed? I signed it. You did. Mm -hmm. You want to move that? Yeah, sure. Any second? I'll move approve the minutes from the last meeting on the 23rd. So Say aye. Aye. Okay. Town Clerk's report. I will be out of the office tomorrow, both day and night hours. My assistant will be there. I'm going to the sixth grade graduation at Woodbury Elementary School. <laughs> and in the morning? In the morning, they're doing a on to an awards yeah. ceremony. Oh, great. So I will also be at that. <laughs> and Friday, this past Friday, Pam and I went down to, I call it Jay Morgan's, but what's the name of the big building? Uh, Tavern. Plaza. Tavern. There. The plaza, plaza. And Montpelier <laughs> for training on the new tabulators that all the towns mm. have received. That will be put into effect for the August primary. Oh. Huh. Yeah. It's basically the same thing that the warning screen used to be itty bitty and now it's fair size. <laughs> yeah. And once yeah. you put your ballot in, you have to wait there until it gives you the green check mark saying that your ballot was read and you're okay to go. Huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, does that put the uh, Board of Civil Authority out of business? No. Good yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <I> try. <laughs> Makes sense. Because they were always be writing. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or questionable ballots, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And one day last week, Brandy and I did a NEMREC training for the year in closing. Hmm. And our recordings that are coming into town, they have slowed off. They're all caught up today. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, what, what is what? The recordings oh, yeah, for yeah, the land yeah. transfers. Oh, great, and, great. Yeah. Yeah. And I also took it upon myself to have the bathroom light in the town hall replaced. Wow. Because I went in one day and it would not work. I went in the next day, it would work. I was worried about a short someplace that would cause a fire. Yeah. So I had that in place. Did you have anybody look at it? To, to see yeah, it? Tim Higgins. He said, very, yep, he yeah. said it needed to be done. Oh, good. Is that it? Or? That's it. Brandy? Yep. Uh, payroll, that's before you. Three weeks worth. $13,151.66. AP totaling fourteen thousand four hundred seventy-eight cents, seventy-eight dollars and seventy-nine cents. 
cash receipts. Um, there was an error on the state education. Um, they, OSS, I'm going to say it wrong. Um, OSS U? OSSUED or whatever yeah. it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ended OSW. up refunding us $27,972.40. So that's a nice cushion that we weren't expecting um, to get back. Where does that go? That would be nice if the board could possibly um, kick it to reduce taxes this year. But that's up to the board. So where will when will that decision come to us? When will you make that? Yeah. Let's say when we talk about the, the middle of G of July of carrying forward. When we talk about the tax rate when we yep. start dealing with yep. that. Okay. Same yes. Same thing with the highway. Um, but that's a different yeah. Uh, delinquencies four thousand eight hundred fifty seven dollars and four cents. I did a transfer of twelve thousand to cover bills. So a couple things I want to clear up. So on your last page of your financials, your due to, due from, I would like the board to make a motion and vote on clearing the negative for the Planning Commission, which is fund 16 of $1,773.70 to come out of account number 01 515 20.03. Which is zoning board slash planning commission supplies. Um, and then going forward, whether it's something um, that the board puts into to, because um, right now the planning commission has zero money. And going forward, um, the zoning regulations need to be done. There's, there's there should be a line item for the planning commission. I mean, there's a line item for the, the conservation fund. commission. There should be an article. Yeah. Um, well, it doesn't have to. Well, it should just be in the budget if they're going to have more expenses. Which they will. Yes. Yeah. So you said oh five oh oh one dash five oh one. Yeah. Dash five, uh -huh. dash fifteen, uh -huh. dash twenty, twenty oh three. Okay. So it's the okay. which it will be over because it's a one time, but it's it's just the, a budget. Yeah, it's just a budget. I just um, I'd make that motion. <laughs> I would second that motion. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, next thing is the town of Hardwick paying them the seven thousand out of this fiscal year and um, we haven't decided that yet no better than help's coming in i think you better <laughs> oh i i agree but the, at the last <laughs> meeting the last thing you said was we don't have to decide on that right away but we might no, well. we do have to decide on it right away i said you don't have to decide on it right tonight. now <laughs> okay. Brandy is saying you have to decide yeah, on it. Well, Jenna Heinrich wants you to. We too. might as well. We have um, money for out of this year's budget? Yes. You have carryover from last year, and you've accumulated carryover from this year. So in your due to, due from, mm -hmm. the highway has currently 157000 Whoa. And remind us, is this West Woodbury, uh, 7,000? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's no, the trade-off. Yeah. The trade -off. Yeah. It's yeah. the trade-off number. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With the idea that we can negotiate next year whether we pay it or, or do some more inform so, or whatever. Yeah, whatever. But this year, it's just it needs for one to be year. Paid. Mm -hmm. And whether it needs to become an item line that is just in case cushion, it wouldn't be a bad thing mm. because if our guys can't get to it, then we're mm. in the same position of handing over mm. the, the 7000 Are we getting closer to uh, having an uh, ongoing understanding about West Woodbury with Hardwick? Uh, oh, we've got it. Yeah. They want $7,000 a pop. And we can either send our loader and a man and more out there and pay, pay for the 7000 or we can pay them the cash. And being short-handed this year, I'm suggesting that you pay the seven thousand dollars. Okay. I make a motion that we pay seven thousand dollars to the town of Hardwick to um, 
do snow plowing and sanding in Westwoodbury for the winter of 2022 to 2023. I will second that motion. All those in favor? All right. Aye. All right. So moved. Um, so would you like me to make an item line that states yes, that for please. expense? We can't. Uh, you, we can make it. I can button. create it. We, we can, can create budget it, but your expense is there, so we know what it was for. Okay. Sure. Yes, please. Anything else, Bernie? Nope. Thank you, Brandy. So Michael's not here. Let's. Uh, um, oh, we were going to talk about yeah. John. John had something about the Our auditing. And oh yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the uh, Rick Brigham from Sullivan Powers came last week, I guess, to kick off the audit. And um, two things, a uh, few early takeaways. Early on, but he just seems terrific. Just right. wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, and someone Robin has worked with in the past in a different in a state mm -hmm. capacity. So it's known to us. Um, he um, you know in the early what we're light on written policies, but plenty of sound practices. So <laughs> there's mm -hmm. a lot that he um, where he said, I'm gonna make life going over things, I'm gonna make life better and simpler for you. Oh. Um, there were a, a ton of, you know, kind of bullet point questions that we had with Brandy, and after most of the answers, he said, I like that. Mm -hmm. So um, I think it's going to be a terrific process, and um, the, um, you know, I'm pretty sure where the auditors are going to come out is recommending that we do this every year, which so probably... $25,000 a year? So you'll recall we got the price down to 18000 for this year. Tell. And they do an annual audit. It was in front on front porch form for Talus for fifteen five. So we ponied up for something every year, probably get mm. price down a little bit. Mm. But in addition to um, checking the books, making sure all the practices are sound, you know, he's a resource for Brandy to be able to call during mm -hmm. the year when you have accounting questions. Because right now it's pretty much flying in the wind. To, uh, not taking a thing away from the two auditors when you're asked to help on something like that, but neither one of us is a financial person. Mm -hmm. So, and, and, and even if we were, having an outside accountant or a treasurer can call and say, so how should we treat this, I think is really important. <clears throat> Maybe there's another level where they could be a consultant at an hourly wage rather than doing the whole thing every year? Well. We'll see what the auditors recommend, but yeah. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a full oh, audit that, wow. that gets recommended that it's all for it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Whatever it wishes. That, that was pretty much it. I was really encouraged. I thought that they'll be back after the books close to start doing the uh, actual audit. That's it. So the software uh, is okay in terms of. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. He'll be tweaking. Um, so straightforward, you, a CPA looks at our, our books and it's cash slash modified accrual. You're either one or the other. He and, and ours has been a blend. So your balance sheet will look a little different. You're not going to see delinquencies on there. It's not money you actually have. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But he was, yeah, he was, it was very nice and, and reassuring. and um, Great. Yeah. And, and he's very happy and very familiar with the software that the town uses for Great. finances. Sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Great. And the uh, town meeting committee? I don't have, you know, if you have any questions about the expenses, I'm happy to go over that. $379.36 for mailing a postcard to everybody in town, or every household anyways, household? Yeah. And a few dollars for some resource books. Sound so good to you? Basically, yeah. we'll be sending out a survey in the next, probably end of this week. Um, still need some tweaking. Keep sending it around. Happy to have any comments or suggestions on it. Um, but wasn't the post? Excuse me. Postcard. 
if, if people want to get it online, they can do that, or if they need to get it in, in hard print or whatever. Mm -hmm. just, just to make sure that we're really making this accessible to everybody, in addition to putting it on front porch form, um, we'd send a uh, postcard that says, here's the URL for the survey, mm -hmm. or if you'd rather have it in writing, right. contact the town office yeah. and one will yeah. email to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you want to approve that expenditure? I make a motion to approve. Second. Second. Yeah. All okay. those in favor? Aye. Okay. okay. So I guess you want, want, you want the cash now or? Uh, Thank you. Thank, you for, <laughs> Thank yeah. you for dealing with our technical. No, no. It was it was uh, it was <laughs> great to you. It, it was it was great to meet with you guys. So. That's not true. Chris was on Zoom and I, in the uh, spring. Oh. Week, there was a loose clamp. Anyway, the camera kept going. Shh. So Chris would be looking at the floor. That's <laughs> <laughs> right. You could hear me. Mm. Fair enough. Great work. Thank, Thank you, you guys for all Thank your you. work. Uh, really appreciate yeah. it. It's, it's, a, it's a really good group of people. Um, yep. And you guys you guys have moved this forward in a really functional way. So yeah. Thank you so much. Well, let's see what happens. John, I, I wanted to offer to you that the town has uh, remote access equipment and I would be happy to set it up for you if you want to do something more than your iPhone. Tomorrow. So I didn't okay. notice that you bought it. We're here now. Okay. okay. I, I can take you up on it now or give you a buzz tomorrow. Give me a buzz tomorrow. All right. Great. Thank you. Thank you, John. Thanks. Thank you, John. So we well, skipped over my commission. <laughs> So let's see, I wanted to give you guys <coughs> So um, sorry that the, I you know I should have sent this to you a week ago, but something to look at tonight because we're gonna be talking about it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, I just wanted to give you a, a quick update on what um, the planning commission um, you know, we're in the uh, mm -hmm. stage now where the, the town plan did get approved by the Central Vermont Regional Planning Commission Municipal Review uh, Committee. Um, Skip and I met with them last week so that our town plan will go before the Central Vermont Regional Planning Commission Board of Commissioners mm -hmm. um, tomorrow evening. Um, and usually if the Municipal Review Committee has a the plan, it's pretty much kind of slides through. So um, I would say that that our town plan has been approved by the Regional Planning Commission, but not officially yet. Tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow night, hopefully. Um, so so we're I, we're pretty good. I think we're that's kind of the last step. Um, we do wait to hear from the um, Department of. Um, uh, can, I can never remember which one it is. Commerce and Community Development, I think, is the one that also yeah. oversees the town plans. Um, they were sent a copy of it. I don't think we've heard anything back from them at all. Um, I don't know if any select board members have. Um, so um, I don't know what they're going to say about it or what they have to say about it. But, um, so we're, you know, at this point, now that the town plan is done and approved, we're working on um, different aspects of implementing uh, different goals in the town plan. And uh, the first things that we're really centered on at this point is a, a village center designation, which we'll talk about a little bit more tonight, um, both for Woodbury Village um, and South Woodbury Village. And then the other um, um, topic that we're uh, going to be exploring is um, a feasibility study for Woodbury Village um, for a wastewater treatment. Um, it's kind of sort of what needs to happen first before any kind of development or revitalization um, in the village can happen. Um, so this would be a a feasibility study that would happen first. Um, I've talked with uh, Lynette Cloudon and Tom Brown, who are sort of um, the two people that oversee the uh, wastewater feasibility um, study. There's um, 
funding available. It's kind of an elaborate process. Um, Lynette will be meeting with us remotely next Monday night to um, talk about that program um, a bit more. I've had conversations with both of them um, last week. Um, so that's kind of where, and then of course, there, and then there's the whole zoning issue. We, we will be exploring that too. Um, we couldn't meet with um, anyone from the Regional Planning Commission uh, at, our, at our Monday meeting coming. Um, so that'll probably be something that we um, begin to learn a little bit more about at, um, at our July meeting. So we're pretty much kind of just trying to learn what these different things <coughs> entail, choosing, you know, choosing what we want to, to get going. Um, these are the three that I've mentioned are definitely priorities. Um, you know, there's a lot of other things in the town plan and, and we'll slowly be going through those and kind of figuring what else we, we can do. Um, um, so the village uh, center designation, um, what do you do with my copy? Oh, you gave me two copies. Oh. So, okay. here's yours. So, it's uh, basically, it's just what it says. It's an application. It's, it's definitely a process. Um, and we have um, a number of things that are on the checklist, um, which starts on page six. Um, we pretty much already, some of them we've already done. Um, and just to kind of backtrack a little bit, we met um, at our last meeting in May with Richard Amore, who oversees that program. He met with us remotely, um, went over the program, and um, he, what we'll be doing basically is working kind of hand in hand with him to put this application together. Um, so, um, you know, one of the things that we need to do is just put together a basic cover letter, um, which the Planning Commission will do. Um, <coughs> second on the checklist is authorization from town or village select board or trustees, and that's what uh, we're, you know, um, going to be discussing tonight. Um, notification to the Regional Planning Commission and the Regional Development Corporation, um, that's on my list for tomorrow. Um, and then part four was a confirmed planning process, which um, that's with the approval from the Regional Planning Commission, we, that uh, is done. Um, we need to come up with a village center designation boundary map, so we kind of need to figure out what that boundary for the village center is going to be. Um, and that's different from... I know in our zoning um, that there is a uh, designation for what the village is, uh, but this would be um, kind of a nucleus of that village boundary that's in the in the zoning. Um, and Richard Amore did come up with a tentative um, idea for that, which um, the Planning Commission liked. So we'll probably just go with that. Um, after you know we'll probably discuss that some more and when I say we I'm talking about the Planning Commission um, and we do have some map makers um, mm. Michael Sadler has skills with that and um, there are a couple other younger folks in town that also do so Michael said he would help um, kind of saddle them in with that mm. project um, and we need to take some photographs easy enough um, and then uh, number seven, the municipal plan integration. Um, it's all in our town plan. Uh, Richard Amore has already reviewed the town plan. Um, and, uh, you know, different places where it is it's required to be mentioned in the town plan, mm -hmm. it's there. Um, and I think that's thanks to Claire Rock from the Regional Planning Commission, who was basically our guide. and. and put together um, the town plan. Um, and then there are a few other things um, under other required information um, that we'll need. So, so I think the big thing for us at the moment is to put together this cover letter um, and, uh, and then the, and the map also. Um, and we should, and what, what we'll do is put together the application um, as we think it should be done, and we'll send it to Richard Amore. He'll look at it, review it, 
Um, if there's anything else that needs to be there um, or any changes, he'll send it back to us. And then when he's okay with it, then we'll um, uh, send it in as a formal application. Um, I think we'll probably, we might try to do both villages at the same time. We're, we're definitely more focused on Woodbury Village. Um, so we might do that one first and do South Woodbury second. Um, I'm not quite sure how how that'll go. Um, but, uh, and, you, you know, the... And then a part of what I gave you, it just, there's a, uh, I'm trying to think um, on the page, but, so the, the reason for doing this, that's a big question, um, is that this really opens up the door um, to Woodbury for any kind of funding for anything that we want to do here in the village, both um, as a municipality, uh, private property owners in the village center, um, it, um, there's just a, a, a wealth of um, funding um, that becomes available um, <coughs> for anything in the village center that we wanted, wanted to do, or a private uh, landowner or entrepreneur wanted to do. Um, you know, somebody wanted to try to create a new store, there would be um, funding to help that. Um, but it seems like a, a good thing to do um, if we're going to, you know, in the town plan, many, many people mention revitalizing um, the village center, um, especially Woodbury Village. So um, this seems like a good first step um, towards that. Um, any, yes, Peter? Um, uh, one question and then an observation. Uh, one, uh, who's going to be able to access the municipal septic system? Uh, whoever needs to, I would think, in the village center. Yeah. That would be in including crossing Route 14 if need be? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And it would be large enough to do that? I so, so. Mm -hmm. so we'll have to see what the feasibility study comes up with. Um, I know in talking with um, a Woodbury resident, they were suggesting that the, a siting for that could be across Route 14. Um, so, um, you mean Village Green? <laughs> no, no, a little further up the hill. I think. <laughs> so the other is, is an observation. Years back, there was another consultant that came in about the town plan. I think it was from Woodstock, and it might have been when the fire department was first. Yes, that yeah. was. Um, 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 What's his name? Richard. Richard. He did. He did Danville. He did the, the, yeah, he did Danville, and he also created a village plan for us, which is an amendment mm -hmm. in the town plan. Um, oh, I can't remember his name. Um, anyway, but anyway, I, yeah, I, I'm wondering, did that have any bearing on what you've done uh, relative to his his work? Well, his work could be part of what we might want to implement yeah. in the future. Yes. Yeah. Of course, when he was doing that, we had more buildings than we do now. Right. We had a <laughs> store. <laughs> <laughs> but that was triggered by the fact that people didn't like the idea of sending the fire department to South Woodbury. They wanted to, clearly wanted it in the village, so that's oh, was, when yeah. he was hired to. Right. Yeah. yeah. And you know, when he was plan. hired, there was that issue, um, and it was suggested um, to the town, especially the you know the people that mm -hmm. came to those meetings originally for for the new firehouse, um, that we not only look at the, what the fire department needs, but what the village needs. Right. Um, mm -hmm. So that was the whole, um, you know, impetus behind that village right. planning. Um, and there were a number of people in in town that were involved. Oh, that, in that. yeah, that was yeah. active. Yeah. 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 So. How many acres would you have to have for that? There's no, um, there's no <laughs> minimal limit or maximal limit. Um, it's more based on um, what's actually like in in the in the. A um, map that Richard Amore just did quickly, um, it would go out um, to past the auto shaman a little bit um, and then down the road um, this way, um, uh, probably down to like, um, ba uh, not Bailey, what's the name of the road? Blake. Blake Hill Road, yeah. Okay, that's not my question. Yeah. My question is how many acres does this facility need to be built on? Oh, for a waste, septic I have no system? idea. No. That, yeah. that we, that's would be a result of this, this study that 
may or may not happen. That's okay. that's an answer that'll come later. <laughs> we have to do the study first. I have no idea. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a pretty small area and a pretty small number of households, businesses that would be served. Um, so I can't imagine it being too big. It's not like. Montpelier or Hardwick even. No. Um, so would it be mandatory that everybody in the village will have to go on to that? I think, I don't know that answer to that either, but um, my guess is that people would have the choice. Um, okay. But you know, there are, like the auto shaman, they don't have bathroom facilities. Um, the, South, the Methodist church doesn't have, yep. um, other people have holding tanks, so, um, so you know. it could possibly be required, for example, if somebody has a failed system and they don't have other options. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't know the I don't mm -hmm. know the answers okay. to those, but, but hopefully we'll find out what those answers are. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You're gonna have a go go away to put all the effluent. <laughs> mm. Right. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And you know the feasibility study may say. Not feasible. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You know, we we have these two brooks. We mm. have wetlands on either side. Um, so you know, mm. my guess is it's got to be somewhere out of the base of this the little valley that it's right. here. Yeah. Little valley, little marsh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, mm. yeah. So that'll be something that'll happen down the road. Um, the answers to those questions. It, um, And you know, judging from my conversations with with these two folks, um, just the whole funding process for the feasibility study is pretty elaborate. Um, it's going to take us probably a year just to do to you know do the application to get get the funding. Wow. Yeah. yeah. There might also be some ARPA money next year. <laughs> right. Well, this they have. According to Tom Brown, is the financial person, there's all kinds of money just waiting there to be spent. Wow. So it may not, you know, the ARPA money may mm. not be needed for that. Mm -hmm. You might be able to do like a matching grant. If there was, if there was such a ma matching grant set up, and I don't know if there is or not, um, but the ARPA funds would be perfect for that. Yeah, my understanding was that there was something. Yeah, like that. and if we knew that ahead of time, you know, what we could do is. Um, put that matching fund in some kind of reserve with the ARPA, ARPA funds for just for that. It could be designated for that, and, mm -hmm. and then when we need it, it's there. So, and I think in that way we would have passed the um, the ARPA uh, criteria, or, or you know, it needs to be spent by a certain amount of time. Mm -hmm. Is it 2024? Yeah. 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 As long as that transfer is made into the planning yeah. commission, yeah, there's no question. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. And, you know, mm -hmm. with a designated use, um, we should be good. Because I have a feeling that, you know, it's probably going to take a stretch of time um, just to get the um, application for funding um, done. Um, and, I, you know, I, I have a read out and some notes about some of the things that we need to do, but it's <laughs> it's a major project. Um, and then the feasibility study will probably take at least a year or more. Wow. So um, you know, it could be a couple of years before we, before we really know. Um, yeah. So I'm hoping that the select board is okay with um, uh, letting the Planning Commission plan on having your approval for these village center um, designations. That's one of the criteria that we need for the application that we'll make. Does that need to be voted on or uh, do you just want, want our... It should be voted on and it should be reflected in the minutes so that we have proof that the select board has um, okayed um, Planning Commission going through the, the application. Do you want to make a motion? I'll make a motion that uh, the select board approves the efforts of the planning commission in uh, applying for village center designation for Woodbury Center and South Woodbury Villages. 
Is that adequate? That sounds good to me. Okay, hold on. Second second enough for All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Good to go. So we'll get on that. Oh, subject. Are you going to be around for a bit? I, I'm kind of, um, I, I'm kind. Of, I don't know if we want to do it personally, but I, the, the whole pavilion thing seems to be sort of uh, adrift right now. And I, 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 maybe we can just talk personally about well, that. It, it, it is on the agenda. It's so on the agenda. It's under yeah. under other business, though. But we can move it. Okay. You know, you I mean, I'm. It's, I'm planning on sticking around for a good part of the meeting, so we could do it now if you'd like. Um, I did bring copies of the new MOU. Um, I had shut down my computer just before our last. Yeah. <laughs> That's why it. I asked you to make one. Yeah. Let's go ahead and move it. It's all now. Is that? Let's not do it under other business. Let's continue with it. Yeah. So um, I was saving paper, so there's other stuff on the other side here to mm. ignore. That. Well, you know, I don't know. I couldn't. You could get both signatures on one page, but I couldn't do it because it was in a PDF. Uh-huh. Well, so it did print out on one page, technically. But except, yeah, but except, out on the yeah, but the, the, the other stuff. signature line is on the other page. Oh, okay. Well, don't worry about that. <laughs> That's just a okay. So they did make the correction on the description of the property. It mm -hmm. is adjacent to town property that the school building is located on, which is this three acres, bordered on the opposite side by the wetland. I don't know why they still say this divided into two parcels, but anyways. Well, it is. One parcel <laughs> is the one where the building's going to be located, and the other one is owned by the town. Yeah. Right. But they did not approve my suggestion that they not say all decisions shall be final. Yeah, that was. I, I left that out in the draft, but I sent back to them, and the lawyers put it back in. So, well. Oh, yeah. Nerd. Yes, we should have had our own lawyer then. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it just doesn't seem very cooperative. Okay. Can I ask a question? Sure. Uh, so who insures the building and maintains it? Is the it school. The school. Mm -hmm. the school, because it's on school property? Yes, yes. yes. Oh. But it does say the yeah. town shall procure and maintain general liability insurance Correct. for their use and shall include the school as an additional insured. Mm -hmm. So. Which um, we do. But anything that's not a town, that's not a school function, has to be approved uh, or insured town. under the town's liability insurance. And that's Correct. similar to the arrangement that we have with the school for the library and, and the school. And this space. Okay. Same language mm -hmm. is in there. So has this rendition been passed through the lawyer in the hierarchy of the... Uh, it, it, yes, it's been passed through the lawyer. Um, I don't know if it was done before the uh, school board's uh, June 7th meeting. I, I did send it to them the day before, so they didn't have a whole lot of time mm -hmm. to turn it around. But um, that wasn't clear in Lisa's email. Was no. Um, but whether it is or has been or not, um, I think that they, I, I can't say, were you at that meeting, Peter? Uh, the school board meeting? No. No, okay. So, yeah, I don't know what happened at the school board meeting as far as the draft that we sent back to them. If they were okay with it, as long as the lawyers were okay with it, um, then we should be good. If, um, and if the select board is okay with it, the way it's written, um, we can let them know that, and then it would be a, you know, a formality if the school board hasn't approved this the last draft. Um, um, okay. So we should probably um, make a motion to approve this. So I'll make a motion to approve as written. One second. Second. All those in favor? <laughs> Aye. 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 Um, okay, so we'll... Um, keep going around and around for a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's kind of the nature of these things. Um, mm -hmm. I will let Lisa know that it was approved by the select board, and, and I'll ask her whether or not the what the school board, you know, if they did um, approve it at their meeting last week, um, and if they didn't, then I guess we have to wait until for them to approve it. Um, uh, I guess they have a meeting in July. In the meantime, I can sign it and date it for 
since we just moved it and on our on our part of it let me get you a copy that doesn't have uh, other stuff on the back <laughs> I can I can probably scrunch it so it's all on one page so there isn't a little bit on the back okay <laughs> and I'll, I'll bring it down to the town office or I could just email it to you and then you could print it out and I can sign do that mm -hmm. okay okay whatever's easy okay all right Thank you, Michael. Yeah, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So when are you, are you thinking of some construction maybe this year? We, the committee, hopes to have the thing built by the time school starts. Wow. Oh. And you've got some volunteers lined up? We've been told that we do. Oh, well. I haven't, I haven't seen the line yet. But <laughs> has Jamie, has Jamie oh. done anything down there yet? I don't know. I don't think mm -hmm. so. I haven't mm -hmm. gone down there to I think we would have known. Uh, Larry would have probably said yeah. something. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, Larry has Jamie Benjamin hired, or not hired, but volunteered, I should say, mm -hmm. and lined up to go down with his uh, equipment and clear out the trees that need to be dropped and the brush. Um, and then I get, we, the committee needs to kind of finalize the building materials, which is kind of in Peter and Larry's uh, laps. Um, and as soon as the materials start arriving, um, we'll start putting the thing together. Well, one of the thoughts was is that we would pre-paint everything mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then put it together, except for, the, of course, the uh, PT on the base and, you know, yeah. support. But otherwise, mm -hmm. it'd be a bear to try to paint that in, you know, right. after it's... And I'm thinking about using uh, the, the soy-based uh, products that uh, out of Hardwick, and they may, yeah. they, they may you know, offer to... Because that holds up really well and has a nice tone to it, you Do know. Do they have an exterior... Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I've used it. It's it's a good yeah. product. It's mm -hmm. a good product. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, I know the skating rink crew. There's a number of painters in that crew. So. <laughs> so you would paint the wood before you even put the screens in and stuff. Oh, definitely. Yeah. That yeah. Would make it, sense. Yeah. 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 Trying to cut that all oh, in afterwards oh, would no. be a pain. So, okay. Well, thank you for your continuing you, work. Mm -hmm. Most appreciated. How about ARPA? ARPA. You guys probably haven't had a chance to look at the applications yet, I would imagine. Yeah, well, I had awesome. Brandy, Brandy printed us all out because there was too many to sort through online. So yeah. here's one for Chris. Here's These are one all for you. Oh, my word. And you can, I mean, we're not going to you know, look at them tonight, but no, now but we have. I just, I took some notes on the list that Tara put together of the different applications, just mm -hmm. kind of where they would fall, maybe more for Brandy's purposes. You know, some of them fall under sort of municipal town, and then some of them fall under school. Um, and, and there was a lot of applications that I felt like maybe people sort of misunderstood the application process. Um, and I didn't, we didn't really consider them legitimate applications. They were more suggestions. You know, a lot of them had to do with the roads. Mm. Um, people would just say, you know, taxpayer asking for 190000 to resurface the Woodbury Elementary yeah. from Route 14. Um, to Woodbury Elementary. Yeah. Well, by, by sending out the application to everybody who got the survey, you kind of <coughs> asked for some of that. That people yeah. would think, you know, I'll fill this out, see what happens. Right, yep, and we all, you know, had different votes on all of these things. I didn't really think that we should send it to everybody, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I to just let the record show. Um, it was a lot of, it's costly to send these yeah. to people. Yeah. I, I thought that people could seek it out at the town clerk's office if they needed it, but. Yeah. Other folks felt like it should go to everybody. So mm -hmm. that's, I was out of it. Um, <coughs> but I also feel like maybe the application itself we could have made clearer in that regard. So, um, so that, you know, even the tent from Elizabeth Stratton for 4000 um, that needs, to, to me, it needs to be sort of entered by the town, an application of that sort, mm -hmm. because somebody needs to be in charge of it and help people set it up or teach them how to do it. Or well, that's what I was going to suggest for this board 
is to maybe it's look look these all over and maybe have a special meeting where we invite some of these people in to explain why they want these certain things like ask Elizabeth what we're going to do about all those things having to do with a tent and ask the fire department why um, they're asking for what they're asking for and ask the library what they would do with this ten thousand dollars that they want things like that <coughs> do you think we should I think it would be much smarter if we could review it on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Yeah. Yeah, we have a list. Thank you. Yeah, so there was a there was a point where I thought maybe we were going to do that, but then it clarified that that would be more of your role. So, um, yeah, I, th I do think you need to hear firsthand what, mm -hmm. why people want the different things. And I think that um, that when I say it's not a legitimate application, it's legitimate that these people had opinions about things mm -hmm. and they're listed here. Um, but there's some there's some things that you, you just need to kind of dig a little deeper on. Like there's mm -hmm. a um, resident who has some concerns about um, storm water that's running off of the direction neighbors are coming down our mm -hmm. road and then mm -hmm. coming onto their land. Mm -hmm. And so I did include some comments. I've been communicating with Katie from um, Vermont League of Cities and Towns, and she had a lot of really interesting input. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to give to you guys some of her answers to some mm -hmm. of my questions, mm -hmm. um, because I thought that was really interesting and helpful, just sort of keeping your mind on what the ARPA funds were intended for, right. um, and then what, you know, for example, for the person to person in town that is concerned about the stormwater, sort of what precedent does that make if we're helping stormwater issues in one person's property? Are you then opening the door for other people saying, well, I've got stormwater Right, issues. and if it's a legitimate problem, then the road commissioner should just look at it. Yeah, so I yeah, had a chance so, to speak with them, yeah. and they had, you know, they the, the couple mm -hmm. was very, very knowledgeable about water and roads, mm -hmm. and we suggested just go down and talk to them. Mm -hmm. And so I don't know if they have yet, but they, they yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I haven't yeah, heard yeah. from anybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So anyway. Which road is this? It's, it's our, our Charter. Shardy. Oh, Charter. Yeah. Or as Gerald, Mark, Gerald Ainsworth used to call it, Sharky. Sharky Hill, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love those stories. Um, yeah. So anyway, I think they had a legitimate concern, but I was just wondering whether mm -hmm. maybe that they would address it with you guys and then perhaps come to a meeting and talk to you guys about it and maybe somehow some funding or some attention could be paid to it um, if it seemed like a legitimate concern. That's a mean hill. But if it's not, yeah. Uh, yeah. But There's if it's personal, then it's two years ago. Mm -hmm. I haven't, I haven't heard a single about it. No. Okay. Yeah, and I'm not, I'm not versed in it, but they are, so I don't want to speak for them. And right. they had a lot of good, you know, ideas about how maybe some of this could easily fixed. So. Mm -hmm. Do all the, uh, you you know, do all the houses up there? I notice one's not being lived in anymore. That trailer that's that seems to be not you know the one on the left going down the hill anyway oh, somebody's moved back somebody's, there. somebody's, somebody's moved back there. Left. but do all the all, all the all, oh, yeah, all, all, all the uh, driveways have culverts under under them yes i think well we do i don't know i i know the people that Laura's which one is your house we're in the uh, 326 it's the old barn Oh, yeah. The pond. Yeah, that one's good. You guys have done some great work for us over the years. Not for us, but for the roads. That helps <laughs> right. us. <laughs> right. Yes. Um, so, anyway, mm -hmm. there I we you know Stephen has mm -hmm. spoken with folks from roads. And, and I know those folks that Laura's talking about have talked to the roads too about that problem before. So, yeah, right. so it's a sluice pipe, and it's you know it, it, it's being sort of considered as like a stream, but they are thinking it not so much a stream as as that the road is being the the water is being diverted from the road through their property, okay. and that's a concern for them. Mm -hmm. Where's that? It's, it's um, oh well. So it's one house down from. The us the barn on the on the right. If you go down the hill, we're on yeah, the right. Yeah. They're the next house down on the left. Anna, May Clark, and her husband. Hmm. I haven't heard a word from them, but yeah. Uh, so maybe they're putting their thoughts together. Yeah, yeah. Well, they they submitted this, so when we tell them that this is probably not the way they need to go, yeah. they should start with the 
these people who know what they're doing. Yeah. And that was how I felt about a lot of these applications where it really would be the roads folks that would put in an application if they wanted to do one of these projects, mm -hmm. not necessarily a taxpayer that puts in mm -hmm. the, the record, you know, request. But, um, and the other, I think the only other thing of note really would be that there's some tricky sort of accounting that Brandy will need to do around if if you guys approve money for the fire department. They're not a nonprofit. They are a nonprofit, but they're not technically a nonprofit mm -hmm. by the way that it's looked at through the Vermont Big Cities and Towns. So mm -hmm. it, there's a sort of workaround that needs would need to happen to put that through. You're probably aware of this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would not be cutting anything for payroll out of the town for that. It would be a one check they would have to deal with the payroll, the taxes, the disbursements. Not so, mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. So she said if the towns want to fund organizations that are not 501c3 or 501c19, then there are ways to do this, but it will require moving the ARPA money through the general ledger in a different way, swapping Correct. ARPA into the operating budget yep. to free up general funds that can be used instead of ARPA direct funding. Uh, before mm -hmm. this is done, reach out to Sarah Macy at I appreciate the choir. You, you were in the mm -hmm. So anyway, so some of this, the, um, I thought it was interesting to talk with Katie and learn a little bit more about it, and so I included mm -hmm. some of her responses that might be helpful. And then I thought it might be nice for you guys to see the actual surveys, because people wrote a lot of comments on them. So mm -hmm. these are the, the, the uh, original copies with, with comments and exclamation points and stars and whatnot. <laughs> no, we didn't see those. No, I'm giving, you, the I'm giving you them now. Oh. oh. So I'm giving, what I'm handing you over is the originals from the surveys. Mm. You have the survey results, but I included another copy mm -hmm. in case you didn't mm -hmm. get that. Um, my, mm -hmm. my little blurb about the survey and then my little chart with the results. Did you guys see that? That's very nice. Yes, yeah. thank you. I can't believe you made sense out of that survey. That's really <laughs> well, I wrote really the good survey, work. so it was okay. to make sense of it. Yeah. So this is, sorry, it's a little like dog year, but oh, you guys. All right. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. That's about it. And then, so I guess my last thing I wanted to say was sort of was already spoken about, but I'd love to see not all of the funds spent. I mean, we have there's way too much put in that could ever be covered by the money that we have right. so far. Oh, yeah. um, but for the 263, 263,000? So it's one, what, 38 for the first and 138 for the two seconds? Yeah, so the second so will come August, in August. We'll be getting the second payment. 138 times two. Yeah. Yeah, and so the way we, when we put the application out, we put it out with the intention that people could, you know, go for it on this round if they weren't they didn't get the money that they were looking for, it would be put mm -hmm. in to the next mm -hmm. round and that there would be a next round. Mm -hmm. And that would happen, the next application round would be mm -hmm. due um, May 2nd yeah. next year. Mm -hmm. So I just want to sort of honor that, that, that there are people that might be mm -hmm. cooking up some good ideas or whether it be, you know, mm -hmm. things that the Planning Commission's doing. So um, maybe, maybe hold off on spending all of it. That's my advice. But it has to be spent. <laughs> it has to be spent. Yeah. By 27. Yeah. By 27. Yeah. So we've got. Got some time. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of. There's you really don't have to rush this. No, and the and Vermont League of Cities and Towns recommends that the towns slow down and oh. let ideas develop yeah. and let people come up with good ideas mm -hmm. because it's easy to like throw an idea out there and not really have it worked out. So mm -hmm. that's when you have people come in, I think, and say. This is a good idea, but we're going to need some more information. Mm -hmm. You know, there was someone that asked for some money for their business, their personal business. Well, it might clearly, be it's supposed to money is supposed to be to help municipal services, not for personal. I mean, if there's some probably some towns that have enough money so they can do like a business program, but. There, yeah, yeah the, like the, the original guidelines there was, um, is you know, money in the money category that was for people who had a who suffered under COVID. Yeah. So that they would get sort of hold but mm -hmm. COVID. But the, the application that the person put in, mm -hmm. I couldn't see I mean I could imagine how it could connect with COVID, mm -hmm. but it wasn't written that way. So you could either say to the person, I'm sorry this doesn't fall under our guidelines mm -hmm. or you could say, maybe, but we're gonna need some different information. Mm -hmm. And so that's a lot. 
because she has a, a farm. She wants to start some farm stands and things like that. So mm -hmm. I mean, I can I can get there in my mind thinking that um, people in Woodbury growing their own food is a good thing and in terms of um, mm -hmm. you know pandemics and hazards in town and things that might happen. But I think it's a little bit of a stretch, mm -hmm. and they, she would have needed to define that. Yeah. It's not so what's your timeline for this process? I know when it's supposed to be completed, but it, you you need to figure out how this is all going by a certain time, I would imagine. Uh, and no? Well, well, in, in terms of uh, the actual uh, choice of uh, who who's going to receive these. Uh, well, I think at this point choice. it's you. Uh, yeah, no, but, I, I mean, but, but that's a process. I mean, yeah. I, I understand yeah. it's coming to us, but mm -hmm. my, my question is the timeline for that to happen and to, when this comes to us. It is to, it's, it's, it is to us. You've got it and well, yeah. This comes to us. But not this I mean we're making a decision on these as this? No, 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 not now. Not no, now. I understand that. But, but that's yeah, that's my those question. Those are the, the, those are the applications in there that big pile. I understand, but I'm asking about the process and the time. Yeah, yeah I think I would say that you're gonna take your time and look through them and get gather the information that you need and that the ARPA committee is just handing it to you guys at, um, at this point because we don't, you know, there's a mm -hmm. fine line. Mm -hmm. Actually, there's a clearly defined line, <laughs> um, and we, I think we've done our the part that you guys were looking for mm -hmm. us to do, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. and now you guys get to decide. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. So there might be some, for example, the pavilion thing. You know, some where we want to get the money out right mm -hmm. away. Mm -hmm. Some like the town hall. Might be some renovations that want to get started this year, and I don't. So we don't have we to do it all any, at once. Yeah, I don't believe we made any um, in any of our paperwork that we put out there that there was any um, ranking. No, no, that we never gave a timeline. Oh, you know okay. that basically that it was mm -hmm. you know you may or may not get mm -hmm. your money, and it mm -hmm. might come at any old time. That the, mm -hmm. um, probably sometime this year, I would imagine. And I called a few people that were on that list that I felt like, you know, I'm not sure that this is really an application, but I just want to thank you for putting it in. And, <laughs> oh, that was um, nice. And, you know, it may pass, but probably not, <laughs> you know, because some of them just seem kind of weird to me that they're not yeah. there. <laughs> Some of these are kind of out there. Yeah. <laughs> what was it, 200? Anyway, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of... You know, it was spring when people were writing these. <laughs> there are a lot of feelings about roads, but I think that that happens in every town all over the uh, world. Yeah. You know, yeah, mm. you guys are doing a great job. <laughs> well, thank you very much. And a lot of people in Calus talk about how much better our roads are. So oh, really? I have mm. a lot of Calus friends, and they're always saying, Woodbury Roads are better. Oh, I've heard that before for years. Yeah, for decades. years. Well, we have, is it half half the mileage that 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 yeah. Calus has, or something mm. like that. Yeah, there's a lot of back yeah. roads. They have 88, hmm. 88. Yeah. Okay. Well. So we'll later we could decide whether we want to have a special meeting to look over these and decide who we want to invite in for some more questions. I think that would be the right decision. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And feel free to ask us any questions if you're not mm -hmm. understanding my chicken scratch. Mm -hmm. or okay. Anything. Thank you. Okay. okay. Highway Department report. Um, well, there's a lot of stuff tonight. Mm -hmm. The first one is is a pop up camper sitting in the middle of Class Four Road. Mm -hmm. It's so sad. Nobody's around. Um, I was going to move it this morning, but my wife talked me into waiting until I talked to you folks tonight. Huh. <laughs> Well, it's no <laughs> <laughs> is it is it something you can move without damaging it? We it's have got a, a hitch on it. Huh? It's got a hitch on it. Yeah. I'll tell you. Do you know who owns it? Yeah. Yeah, well, I don't. But these girls here can probably tell you. Yeah, the PT, the PTTR states who it is. No telephone. We have an address. That states who owns the piece of land. Correct. It doesn't state who owns the camper. Correct. True. But the yeah, but the people who own the land are kind of responsible for what goes on on it. This yeah. is the this is a tiny little half acre piece of land that the new Quarry Road spur goes through, and Coleman went and sold it to somebody. Mm. Oh. Now they're going to have to, and they they're thinking they can build on it, but uh, that hadn't better happen. No. 
Hmm. <laughs> they can all right, have all well, the tents they want. But they're, <laughs> but they're gonna have to move them too because they're still in town right away. Okay. Do you know anybody who can who needs work who can just go out and look at have them show the, where the center line is and mark the boundaries of the right of way? It seems like that is would that be helpful. Is that a zoning should huh? be anyway? Bob's that's too busy to do something like that. Law. What? That's a state law. Oh, I realize that, but yeah. but in order to show the people where they can't build, where the right of way is, somebody to just go out with a handful of flags and, you know, I don't know. Anybody well, looking for work? <laughs> not that fun to work. No. <laughs> Diana, you ready to throw some flags? <laughs> I would say that it should be put right into the zoning laws that they need to t contact the road commissioner or whoever, and he'll come up and show them where the right away is. Yeah. But I'm not going to run around doing it everywhere. No, no. But most people aren't that close. So. But yeah. this character, if <laughs> yeah, he had better be sleeping in his tent and have us start working on the road. Cause mm. He and the tent are going to be on mm. the road. So, um, what is, is there a, a, a general setback that is common uh, for... 25 feet, 25 from, feet center from center of the road. For each for way. Road. So it's 50 feet overall. <clears throat> well, it's three <laughs> rods, actually. Yeah, right? Three rods, yeah. So he actually has three roads he's dealing with, correct? Right. Oh, and he's in between two of them. He's in two, yeah. But the zoning, I think, is three, 25 feet from the... That's kind of the standard. Zoning. 25 feet. When I put my house in over there, I had to be 50 feet. You're, the yeah, but you're on a class three. There's a separate, pri well, maybe it's just private roads that are 25 yeah. feet. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. So by the time you get a setback from 50 feet, there ain't no way he's going to put anything no. in there. Cause mm -hmm. There's a road here, a road here, a road here, and one that goes across the top. Mm -hmm. And he's only got a third of an acre. Mm. Or half an acre. Half, half an acre. Yeah. Whatever it is. Maybe a five by ten in the middle, if that. Mm -hmm. Make a good outhouse. <laughs> just thinking the same thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah where are they going to put their septic system? Public restroom, is that what's going to be on the, out on the road? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, anyway, I'm going to move the camper, but it's going to the town drive. Okay. And I expect to have a letter written from the select board saying where it is, and storage is thirty dollars a day, and it's one hundred and fifty dollars to move it. All right, so they're not going to do anything. It, 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 it's fifty dollars a day. Thirty dollars. Oh, thirty dollars a day, and one hundred and fifty bucks to move it. Each way, or well, I ain't moving it back. <laughs> there ain't no way I'll move it back. Okay. I'll so move have... it to the junkyard. Yeah, but. okay. They have a, an address that's fairly local, right? Like Yeah, Waitsfield. Yeah, I mean, they're not out of state. Right, right. Yeah. It, it might be good to check with VTRANS and just see what different state laws say what a town can do about that. Eh. No? Okay. <laughs> I think you, you, you got to. It's not up. right. Yeah, if, like Robin we, said, if some now the sign is already on the wrong road, so if somebody right. follows that old Quarry Road sign, they're gonna run right into that thing. So. I agree. It needs to be moved. Mm -hmm. And we have no contact information other than an address. We don't have a phone. But they did come get a zoning permit. Um, For what? An application. An application. Um, so I don't know if they, yeah, mailed it to Bob or if they are just pending. We have no phone number. Well, so do you need our, our, our authorization to do that? or you, is I think you ought to. Okay. okay. Want to move that? Sure. I'll write the letter. So that's a motion. You second? I'll uh, second the motion to move that camper out from that. I mean, it's a pop-up. It's not like it's a. Oh, I understand. Yeah. yeah. Out from the right of way to the town garage. With the associated fees. 
with associated fees. You gotta do it. And they can come back and get it after they pay there. Well, they're not going to, I bet. But anyway, that's speculation. Mm -hmm. but that, it is. That meter is going to run pretty fast. Uh, well, they can negotiate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you better do the negotiation because they ain't negotiating with this old boy. <laughs> I'm sure if somebody would like to call Coleman Parker, he probably has the contact for them. Who? Coleman Parker. Oh. <laughs> uh huh. That's a nice idea, Brandy. <laughs> okay. Did we did we vote on that? No, no. <laughs> yeah, let's vote on that. Did I make a motion? Yeah, you and you seconded. Okay. Let's all in favor. Aye. 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 Okay. Okay. So moved. Okay. Keep going, Chuck. So, yeah. Do you see, do you have an agenda? Oh, quite a lot. Can I ask you a question real quick to clarify? That $7,000 is for this past year. No. Strictly only. No. No, it's just coming up here. We've already dealt with that last year. This coming year, 23. It's for fiscal year 23. It yes. is not right. for 22 that we're in right now. Right. Okay. Right. The next winter. Next look. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, whoops, sorry. So I had a question. Of, uh, we didn't do the winter sand advertisement yet because I wasn't clear. Um, that we want to do a three-year contract, and if we do, you said we only need like fifteen hundred dollars, fifteen hundred yards more. For this year. For this year, but in the future years, should it be four thousand like it was before? Probably. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Well, fortunately, we have all the documents, the ads, and the contracts and stuff that uh, Skip Lindsay made up the last time awesome. we went through this, and Brandy has them in electronic form so we can tweak those without having to make things up again. And do you know who you're going to send them to? We're going to put an ad in the News and Citizen. I guess we could put the Hardwick Gazette, too. Gazette would be nice. Okay. Please. Most of the sand and gravel in this area is between Hardwick and Morrisville. Yeah, Morrisville. So. Used to be all along Route 14. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now it's on Route 15. <laughs> well, there ain't no gravel there either. It's all ledge that they crash. It's pretty hard to buy gravel now. Mm. So the uh, 550 truck, we've already approved that. You have? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. We... The uh, the proposal for the fixing the 550 truck? I think truck? that's what he's asking us to do. Okay. No. Uh, if it's done, it's done. It's done. Oh. Okay, well. You have, have you seen that? Were yeah. The, minutes, yeah, the last minutes? What? Were the last minutes? No, it wasn't. What was the last meeting was three weeks ago, so we hadn't talked about we hadn't this talked at about all. This. Right. So let's just approve it. If, if, I mean, Is that I, I really have nothing. To, I I don't know. <laughs> I think it's a good price, and uh, you know they're putting on used doors, and and, and you're going to get if you get a year out of it, so much the better for. Well, I'm hoping to get at least two out of it. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, we put a new body on the back of it, bought that sander. We got to do some work on the plow, but mm -hmm. yeah, that's minor. Uh, and as you said, the price of new trucks and availability are off the charts. The availability, right I don't think you can find a 550. I don't know if you could have Dodge or Chevy or not, but they're not building them. And one of them, what 550 or one ton or whatever you want to call it, would be 120,000. Mm. Yeah. And these roads need. All that, that hundred and twenty thousand. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, do you, do you make a motion? I can make that motion. Sure. Uh, I'll make a motion to approve. Oh. Okay, you make the motion. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. It's eight thousand for the record. Eight thousand six hundred and ninety-two was the estimate from Larue Brothers Auto. In I, I think it's a proposal, not an estimate, road. isn't it? It says estimate. It's an estimate. Estimate. Okay. So. Well, yeah, but they'll they'll be right there. 
Yeah. But it's, a, it's the estimate has a deadline on it, yeah. and we're within the 30 deadline. days. Yeah. Okay. So. No, they'll be right there. Yeah. So it says Glover, Glover Road, but what is the town? Is it Glover? Barton. Barton? No, I believe it's Barton. Yeah, yeah it is Barton. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. 550 is going to get worked on. Okay. Ordering new truck. I just thought we should bring that up. Well, that's good. We talked about that's it for good. a while. I've got a couple of things about that. Okay. So you can tell we have a nice surplus left over. There's two trucks in New York being built right now. And I believe we can get our name on one of them that we have it delivered in February. Hmm. Well, end of January, early February. It's a Western Star. Same as what? We have a freight liner, but the only thing difference is the nose cone. Hmm. The same truck. And I think we can get a pretty good price on it. Uh-huh. You've, you've talked to them, obviously. Mm -hmm. So what, what do we have in our her fund? Well, I'd like to see that stay there for a while. She got a lot of extra money she wants to do something with this fall, as this, before the end of the fiscal year. Before, well, so now, you, you can carry it forward, right? And so instead yes. of... So we've never put actuals... And this is where it, the CPA is going to put in his recommendation and his for carryover. Mm -hmm. um, because you look at a financial statement of the highway right now, and you're 70000 away from the expenses income. But your carryover is 157000 right now in the highway. Mm -hmm. We're not going to spend that in two weeks. Mm -mm. <laughs> in the HERF, there's 138000 Yeah. To get and avoid interest, as far as paying off the loader, I would like to see that happen. That was my other part. And then possibly put more down on the low pro and get rid of some interest there. No sighing, Diana. <laughs> we got we got to do something because you got a pile of junk over there, yeah. and you got some roads that need some serious attention, mm -hmm. as in gravel. Mm -hmm. Well, we've been talking about a new truck for. You know, yeah. Long so um, we get rid of. <laughs> with the fiscal year coming, yep. um, there'll be another um, installment into the reserve fund. Uh, yeah, yeah. And we still, and this amount still is lacking another quarter from Swenson, but. Right. But um. Well, it's time, it, to, it's time to play catch up if we got a chance. If we can mm -hmm. get the. Because you're going to have one of them trucks that's going to be set inside the road somewhere mm -hmm. with a major problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're 10 years old. Well, you. So if the 13 I, can be sold. We're, we're, getting, until we're getting the price on a trade-in. Yeah. Do you want the price of the truck in New York that's being built? Not 100% right now, but I will tomorrow. Okay. Close. Ballpark? <laughs> I'm guessing somewhere around 240000 Uh-huh. And that's a guess. Yeah. It could be as much as 270 Mm-hmm. That's pretty much what you've been expecting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But you were expecting to maybe have get the order one this year and not get it till next year, so. Exactly, but yeah. if we could end up with a new truck this year and some money left over to her fund next year yeah. to either go towards that one time mm -hmm. or the next 10-wheeler, mm -hmm. you've got them 10-wheelers only two years apart, one year apart. One year apart. One year so we've got a 13 and a 14. <sighs> and it's time to get rid of the 13. Mm -hmm. And before we get a hold of another one and be able to pay for it, you're going to be another five years. Mm, right. So one of them is going to be 15 years old when it has dinner old. Mm. And that's hoping that the greater and everything else. And everything holds up. Yeah. Which we've been yeah. doing a lot of work on. So. Right. Well, the greater is in good shape. Uh, mm. Greg and I have talked about that extensively. And if we hadn't put an engine in it, it'd be worth doing. Mm. So I'm not too concerned about the greater. But mm -hmm. that one time, and those two ten wheelers, I'm concerned mm -hmm. about big time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, that's worth. I mean, I think that's a big thing that we can't just approve at a meeting that hasn't been, you know, it hasn't been warned. But we Chuck, can you get us a real number and a quote? Well, can well 
Then you won't you won't know the trade in though, or will you? I mean, well, that's not that enough. truck's down having a, a brake job done on it now, so I will know yep. what they'll allow us mm -hmm. within a couple of days. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if we could have a comparative set of numbers, I think that that's easier to work so on. So would that get traded into Charlevoix, the, the freight liner? Uh, that, that, that's the plan right now. Yeah, okay. And then that money could go into the reserve fund also, or go towards the new truck. Well, it would be a down payment towards the new truck. Yeah. Okay. And so it does seem that with, if this truck isn't going to be ready until January February, then we'll have the new installment for the new fiscal year. It seems like we would have enough money in the reserve fund to buy that truck outright. Right. To, and that well, was between that and the money that's left over, and yeah. right. we still owe, yeah. we still owe five years on the whole pro. Yeah. Four years, five years. It'd be nice if we and just interest. bought. Yeah, but it'd be nice if we just bought a truck. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what we're going to do. But yeah. there's still going to be almost a hundred thousand dollars left over that yeah. should be going into. Paying off. Getting that low pro paid yeah. off. Paying off. Yeah, we can talk about that later. Yeah, that's that's that's. I would, yeah, yeah, I mean, but we, I we, I'm going to be very vocal because I don't want you spending on something else. Well, okay. You don't want us to give it to the fire department. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> the highway is on the highway. You're on record there. You can't touch that. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's yeah, all fun. I'll have to come back. It's so much fun. No, the fire the highway department the highway money has to be spent. It's so fun. <laughs> well, it but I, this, and it seems to me like this is a good time to play catch up from being so far behind with no hair fund and yep. and the truck yep. getting run right into mm -hmm. the ground. Mm -hmm. yeah. If we can do it without raising taxes, mm -hmm. exactly, I'm all for it. Yeah, and I would think most any taxpayer in town would be for it. I mean, I would suggest getting this truck, seeing what money is left over, and then making a plan on how to spend what's left over. If you want to pay off mm -hmm. on the the low pro or, or the bucket loader, you'll know, finish. Well, the like, bucket loader is a. There's two more. Fifteen thousand. Twelve. Yeah. Twelve thousand. Fifteen thousand yeah. left. That's so four years. You really should write a check for that right now, and not have that payment anymore. Hmm. I don't know how much interest there is on it, but it's yeah. got to be. Twelve thousand is probably what five hundred bucks. So I will make an Excel spreadsheet of paying off the loader, and then getting the low pro. If we pay in advance, what would be saving for interest? That'd be great. Okay. What we need is a is a nice spreadsheet of all our equipment like we used to have. In fact, I was going to ask John Reed if but he would no work program, on that. Which is fine, but nobody is saying anything to project new, new, new and then to see the amount in there. Right. It's not. You're not going to get away with just putting this little bit of money in when stuff right now is huge money. Mm. Mm -hmm. This and has just been a carryover. The thing that is, you know, we're, we're sending them trucks down there every year. The first, mm -hmm. when I first get in there, the first time we sent this truck, it's down there now, we put $47,000 in that truck. Down where? Charlie, Charlie Boys. Boys, okay. To be gone through, to make sure it was good for the winter plow yeah. and stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's mm -hmm. been progressively worse every, uh, a less every mm -hmm. year. Last year, I think, was $13,000, mm -hmm. but, you know, that's... Uh, you that adds up. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you paid for a third of a truck right there. Mm -hmm. that's, that's why, you know, when we first started talking about this, um, you know, we were kind of looking at the model of har hardwood where they have, a, like, a seven-year replacement, replacement cycle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they don't get... You you never know, really get after, stuck with the truck. The theory is, is that after about seven years, you're going to start spending a lot of money on repairs, mm -hmm. yeah. which you could be applying towards a new right. a new mm -hmm. truck. Right. So. Uh, well, I would like to see those two ten wheelers replaced every five years. Mm -hmm. One of them replaced Separate. every five years. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. So you've got a gap. you'd be working on a ten year mm -hmm. plan for a truck, and if you. Mm -hmm. These trucks are never set down there until I, to Charlie Boys, to be gone through before I started being a road commissioner. Huh. And that needs to start happening on the second year. Mm -hmm. Send them down there. You know, you might put five or six thousand dollars in it this year, but mm -hmm. next year you might only put a couple of thousand mm -hmm. in it. And it's money well spent. Where if you wait for the seven years till warranty, and some of that work that you send down there will be warranty work. Mm -hmm. If you wait till the seven years when the warranty works, I, mm -hmm. out, then all of a sudden you get a fifty thousand dollar bill, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you got to get ahead of that. 
Sounds like a plan. Yeah, sounds like we got a good road commissioner, which we didn't have for a long time. So, <laughs> thank you. But. So, Brandy, can you put that into numbers and models yeah. and all that stuff so that we can just see it on paper and yes. and then timeline uh, in terms of ex expending and and what we're committing to. Uh, um, it's going to have to be fairly short. I mean, next meeting there. We could do it at the next meeting. I, I would think. Yeah. I'll get. I will talk to we'll him tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We'll. I'll talk to him extensively tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Find out what it's going to cost, and what they'll give us for our truck. And Brandy and I'll get together, and we'll have something for you next month. Uh, next meeting. Great. And that will include. Every all your equipment, so that, that you will know. If, unless she gets sick of working with me. <laughs> well, I mean, we could just do the truck for now, and then we can see what's well, left, can't we? Well, I I would like to hear a motion tonight to pay for the loader. I really would. Get it over with. Get it over with. Well, mm -hmm. and would you say it's fourteen thousand? Yeah. Twelve thousand? Is that going to cut into the hundred and fifty-seven whatever you've got? Yes. Left over? Yeah, it'll come out of the reserve fund. Or? Why wouldn't you make it right out of the... It can come out of the highway. Yeah. The it highway can come out of the highway. Right. Okay. The Nail it right out of the highway. Out okay. of the So that will leave us $140,000 plus whatever. Is in the her. And that something in the should be a little more than enough to buy that 10 wheeler. Mm-hmm. And if it, that one doesn't work out and we have to order one and wait a year, then I'd like to see the low pro get paid down or paid off. So pay off the loader, uh, you said about what, 15, 16? It's 14? around 13,000. 13,000. 6,000 something. Okay. Yeah, October. Okay. So what do we have to vote on tonight to make sure that, that we're kicking things into motion as, as we're discussing? Do we? I don't have a problem yeah. with paying off with a with approving paying off the loader. Yeah, because we got the you money. Hold on that. But I think we should wait until the next meeting so we can warn the fact that we're going to buy a new truck. That's kind of a big thing. But I want me, I want to hear you tell me that all three are on that page and that's where we're headed. You know, I don't want to call this character up from Charlie Boys and say, "Well, they're thinking about it," and then all of a sudden. You say no. Yeah, well, well, we've been but, talking but we can about touch it that in just saying we don't know what the trade-in is going to be and stuff, but we're... You're going to know because the truck is down there now. Okay. They'll go over it. Okay. The trade-in, I'll have a bottom line before next meeting. Okay, okay. well, just tell them that we're, we have to have it at a warm meeting. We have to have it on the agenda, and then I, it sounds good to me. I think we've been... So you're, you're on board with going ahead with it? Yeah. Yes. All right. And we're going to vote on to, to pay off the uh, loader tonight. Uh, that would be nice. Okay. We'll wait till Chris That's comes right. back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that turtle might have gotten him. We got. Was <laughs> <laughs> there a snapper? Um, or a snapper? Yeah, a big one. They were all over the roads this morning. Really? I can tell you what we've been doing while we're waiting for Chris to come. Huh? He's, He's back. here. Oh, all right. So the turtle's in full moon. I think it, I think they're related. Oh, oh really? Yeah, I've been watching them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that explains why they're tomorrow is the full moon. Yeah. All over the room. Oh, I know. Oh, they have been for a week. Yeah. Strawberry moon. Yeah. Today more than more than it's been busy. Yeah. yeah. A, lot of, a lot of them crossing their head. So, Chris, we were just talking about uh, approving the paying off of the loader. I would approve that immediately. Okay. That's a motion. Second. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, yeah, I, and we're going to put uh, buying a new truck, ordering a new truck on the agenda for the next meeting, and and Chuck, is you approve going ahead with that? I mean, we can't I do it right I, now. But I, I, we can't. We can't actually go through. Right, it. right. He just wants to know. I just want to make sure you're all on board, so when I get the price, well, I have I'm a wasted this character's time. I I would like to do it personally. Uh, yeah, I think, I think it's a really do, good yeah. idea. Do, I think that but we, we don't have, have to make a couple years ago. Right, we can't really make. We just. We just I, want you, a, I want you to say yes. Go. Yes. Yeah. All right. I think we have a blessing to keep going. To okay. move forward with keep it. Keep going ahead, and we'll put it on the agenda for the next meeting. And if anybody wants to come and object, they can. 
But Chuck, could we see some <laughs> numbers some at, at some point? He's going to have the some. Tri the, our truck is a Charlie Boy sale on a red dog number. Right. So can we... So they're going to... I am going to do my best to make sure that you've got numbers before next meeting. Sounds great. And which truck is that That's that they 13. have? 13. That's a 13, 13 truck. 13. That's a 13 truck. And like I say, the other one's a 14, so... Mm. I mean, that one we're going to have to send to Charlie Boys, have it gone through, and we're going to have to pay close attention to it so we can get another winner out of mm -hmm. it. Four, well, another oh, four no. years. Yeah. So you can four, have four enough in your hair fund to pay another one, buy another one. Because mm -hmm. we're going to have to build that fund back up again. Right. Yeah. So this money that we just approved for the 550 this $9,000, is that also coming out of this surplus? Yeah. 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 Okay. Has to. So. In my memory, that even though there's a difference in, in a year, 2013, 2014, both trucks were purchased at the same, same time. time. Yeah, been working the same. Mm. Yeah, there's only years. like six months difference between them. Well, there's only like four thousand miles difference between them. No. I mean, mm -hmm. what is a mileage? Out of curiosity, one of them's getting well as of what's today? But what, last Wednesday, one of them had ninety-eight thousand six hundred and something. The other one's got 104,200. Mm -hmm. So the mileage, you know, is right there. Mm -hmm. I would really like to see one that the town could pay for, even if something really happened and we had to borrow money on the second one. At least we ain't got two payments. Mm. Together, yeah. Together. Mm -hmm. That's why we set up that fund in the first place. Mm -hmm. So right. we start buying a truck. All right. Buying a truck outright. Mm -hmm. That was the goal. That was the goal. Yeah. The goal was and how to long, be able to buy that, a How long truck. has that been going on? The high, the highway. We have, we've never been able to do that yet, but that was this um, is that was the that, that was, was the goal. purpose. The her fund was approved uh, by the voters when Vale Leach was on the board. Oh my word! Yeah, yeah. so it's so been it around for a long time, but it's but it went away for a long time. Well, it wasn't, well, used, it got, wasn't used properly before we started <laughs> doing the leasing and all that stuff. Uh, yeah. Right, board members wanted to do the leasing route instead of yeah. and then kick money back to reduce taxes, and then mm -hmm. just yeah. it was a nightmare. nightmare. Yeah, it wasn't there, but looking back, it was we are, not a great. We're on a roll now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chuck and I will work. We'll get a. We'll yep. see the savings on mm -hmm. the paying off on the loader. Mm -hmm. See the interest savings on the. I'll look at numbers for the low pro, and then. I would love to not be paying interest on anything. Mm -hmm. That would be Beta. my ideal right. goal, right? Mm -hmm. Be nice to not be paying interest on anything, and like last year, buying pre-buying gravel, pre -buying gravel? And saving. A dollar and a half a year. Sounds pretty good, right? It does. Mm -hmm. It does. So. And it, I think it can happen. It's just. We have to. It takes time and. We have to decide on it. And we, we can't also back off. To, yeah, we mm -hmm. can't right. let it go. Or keep putting it off to the side where it's not going to get any better. I mean, it's kind of like mm -hmm. the expansion of the, the herf. Yeah. yeah. By the time you get done, if you keep sweeping it under the rug, the rug's going to be this high. <laughs> Time to do something with it. It's a lot of rugs. A lot of dirt. Okay, so the last on this item is the uh, the box culvert. Um, yeah, so I have some um, an update on that. Um, I contacted uh, Shauna Clifford um, about that uh, grant, and the town has until December 31st, 2023, for the design of the culvert. So mm. I've been procrastinating for quite a while. I can procrastinate a lot longer if I want to. <laughs> Um, but I do have I have an RFP that I've sent to Shauna and Logan Perrin. Oh. They're going to review it, and um, I wanted to ask Brandy, will we? This is a design for a box culvert. Do we need all of the insurance? Not all for the design. No. Okay, all right. no. so this will be much simpler. Um, and we've already I reviewed. It was one we've, started. We've reviewed all that. I thought. Didn't we review all of that? I thought no. there was a design in everything of the box culvert. It no, 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 that hasn't happened yet. Oh. We did get the grant for it a while ago now. Yeah, that's and it was incredible. extended to when? Twelve. It wasn't extended at all. The oh. the grant went till December thirty first, twenty twenty three. I was inquiring about getting an extension, thinking that oh. it would end at the this oh, end of this okay. fiscal year in a couple of weeks. Okay. Um, but um, Sean informed me that um, we have until December thirty first, twenty twenty three. And to then, to approve it or to actually receive to, to it? To have the design work approved. done mm -hmm. oh, okay. and the report 
um, you know, back to the. So the project's not going to happen this year. So plus we uh, don't, we won't even have know if it's going to be funded no, until this after. Would, this would be just for the design, and right. then once and the design budget. work is done, then we would go for a, 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 a grant. For a grant. To, mm -hmm. to How long is that design good for? I mean, does it it's, does it uh, end? Say no. after a year? No, no, the no. design is good for forever. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's, it's basically the, mm -hmm. the design will be, and then they will construct the culvert, like on Nelson Pond right. Road. Right. That, um, you know, they'll cons some company will um, uh, construct the uh, culvert, the, and then, you know, we'll have um, some contractor um, put the thing together, put it in place. Um, so, but the, the, what the design will include is the actual design of the culvert, but then all of the different permits that have to right. be, um, right. um, you know, different mm -hmm. hoops like that, um, that, they'll do all of that work too. Um, and, you know, the, uh, Shana suggested that we definitely send this uh, RFP to um, well, the fellow up in St. J. Ruggles, mm -hmm. um, and then... Um, uh, the fellow who designed the Nelson Pond um, culvert, I can't remember his name at the moment, and then maybe send it out to a couple others. Um, I don't know if Dubois and King does any work, but there's another mm -hmm. firm that we've set things for. They're down in Waterbury or Montpelier, and they're, they're always way overpriced. Oh. Yeah. Renier, maybe, or mm. DeWolf? Yes. DeWolf. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. DeWolf. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're yeah. They're the ones that designed the Cabot Road. Mm. Yeah, our, right. Our old house. Yeah, that, mm. yeah. Yeah. I've had uh, same same personal experience. Yeah. But that so, way we can get the match in the budget. Yeah. For yeah. next. For next year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So my plan is to um, send that RFP uh, to Shauna and Logan Perrin tomorrow. Um, get the review on it, and then. Um, and then once they send mm -hmm. it back, um, I will send it to the select board to review and the road commissioner. Um, and we can um, approve, <laughs> hopefully approve to send it out at the next select board meeting. Good. Good. And the design work could be done, hopefully, before the winter. Uh, that's kind of my hope, mm. depending on how busy they are. Busy. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. But it's not a big project. No. No, that's true. And the VTrans did do the hydraulic study for that, so that's one less thing that the oh. designer will have to do. Um, so. I know we talked about it, but I know it's not germane to this co box culvert, but uh, there's a culvert underneath, what's that, Church Street? What's the street that goes up uh, by Church John? Street. Church yeah, Street. Yeah, all of those culverts, the culvert on Church Street, the culvert on Bailey Bridge Road, the same thing needs to happen to them at some point in the future, in mm -hmm. the near future. I'm not, I'm not so sure, but Greg has been telling me that Harry and he put that culvert in going across Church Street. Okay. I, yeah, I, I don't remember it. I don't remember. But either. that's what Greg's telling me. Okay. Mm. That that culvert's only nine, ten years old. Mm. Okay. So I think that one. Wow. Well, mm. We should have it looked over. We'll take a look at it. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, the one at Bailey Bridge. I don't ever remember that one being done. Mm. Oh, I know. I know. Vitrans has looked at the one at Bailey Bridge, and um, you know they are concerned as much concerned about it as the one under Valley Lake Road, but they. It is deteriorating, and it, you know it's, it's not a, a, a red flag or anything, but right. it should be something to consider in the mm. near future. Yeah. Well, okay. maybe maybe the one on Church Street is too. I'll, I'll look closer at it mm. when I'm down mucking around on the screen here with the deeper stuff. <laughs> Don't have too much fun. <laughs> <laughs> I've had to unplug that thing last summer. Really? Mm. Yeah. The culvert? Yeah, under Church Street. Mm. Yep. I got a reminder email this morning from Ross Gowan, Agency of Transportation, about the um, oh, good. 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 road grants, that they need a signed letter by June 24th. Well, I put the letter together, and I don't know if Peter signed it or not. They did, and I scanned it, and I sent it. Okay, so okay. We, should, we should be good. Okay. Yeah. 
And I was going to ask Brandy tonight if she did scan it and send it. But so no, yeah. that was the money we talked about for your sale? That's sale? for the Ms. general permit, yeah, for the grants and aid program yeah. this summer. Yeah. Okay. So they'll send us back uh, an, an announcement that, you know, that they got the letter and then, um, and then we're good to go the beginning of the new fiscal year on um, getting a, the project um, up on East Hill. Um, right now, VTrans, it used to be that the Regional Planning Commission would come out and look over your plan and make suggestions, um, and that's all passed to um, VTrans now. So, um, and there's a, a, a committee or board or whatever that um, the towns contact when they're ready for a project, and, and they'll arrange to come and, and um, you know, they'll meet with you and, and Greg, um, and uh, you can tell them what you're planning, and they'll, you know, yay or nay that. Um, usually they just yay it, but they sometimes have suggestions right. on other, right. other parts of that. Um, and then we take some before photographs and, and get to work and take some after photographs, um, send the report in, um, keep track of money spent on, you know, right. different things. Um, Mm -hmm. and uh, take some um, after photographs and then they usually come out and just kind of take a look at it. So. Michael, I don't know how you do all that and used to do all this too. Uh, it's yeah, well, <laughs> it's a girl. That's Ooh, why I yeah. needed to retire. <laughs> Before yeah. we totally burn you out. <laughs> yeah. Gosh. I'm glad we don't have so, to deal with that. Um, we're past 7.30. Uh, other business and updates? Um, we talked about the town meeting committee. Um, yeah, hang on just before you rush over off on yeah. that. I've been, had two letters sent to me from a couple over in Rygate, I think it is. Rygate, East Rygate, somewhere mm -hmm. over there. And they bought that little trailer as you head down toward Nelson Pond on the right hand side. It right. sets back in the woods. And hmm. that is a federal wetland out in front of it. And they're pushing to have a bigger culvert put in there. And I went over with my personal excavator last year and opened it up and the dam has dropped about, the swamp has dropped about a foot and a half. But it's full of cattails. And I have called them and told them that we were not going to put a bigger culvert in. That. That's a that's a driveway, right? It's not a public road. They want it. They want the culvert changed down by the fishing access that lets the water out of that swamp into Nelson Pond. No. No. Mm. That's what I told. The you. answer is no. So I mean, it's a really simple answer. Yeah, we don't do drain yeah. wetlands for people so that their yeah. property is going to be more and valuable. A, well, no. and, and aside from that, it's not even it's not even our purview to do. No. It. No, it's. No, it, no. It's a federally designated wetlands area. Exactly. And um, like I say, I ditched it down through and it, the swamp dropped a foot and a half. Mm. And it's way further away from the camper than it's ever been. So I've told them no. So if you... And we'll back you on no. Okay. So if they need to talk to any of us. Okay. Are they talking talk about they talk building anything or... No. Wanting a permit or no. good? No. Okay, good. It's just and it's basically a camp. Are they living there? There's no camp. No, it's an older couple. I I've yeah. never seen them there. I've been over by there a dozen times, mm -hmm. thinking I might catch them. But mm -hmm. um, I finally called them and told them that we weren't going to change the culvert. And yeah. No. They didn't seem all that happy. So if you get called from and I've got the people's name over the house, I forgot to grab it tonight. But. Okay. All right, I'll shut up now. No. Until well, you, until no. seven forty. Say no. <laughs> um, Oops, it's seven forty. We better plow through our other businesses. West, West Woodbury, Woodbury Cemetery. Cemetery, yeah. Upgrades. Chris, do you have stuff? It's been off to everybody. So. I never got it. Are you supposed to get it? Well, I was the one that was going to send it to the surveyor. To get I will, her started. I will send it to you again. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah. Not that it's an official report. That's that's no, it's just it, you know, it's just that's Bear's project. That, that's that can Bear's be project. that can be helpful to her. Sure. Yeah. Yep. Happy to. Okay. 
Thank you. We did the outdoor classroom. Are we settled on that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can. Okay. I just, can I just clarify that my, my I, I, I was unclear in terms of whether this has gone through the whole food chain for the lawyer and everything else. Is that yeah, your understanding? It has. It has. Okay. Everything is done. And well, I, I didn't know that, and I was part of that group. But, yeah. Yeah. Well, we just, uh, Lisa just sent us an email today. I think it was today. It was today. Like yeah. yeah. So it's kind of... We had uh, decided maybe it was the wrong decision, but not to bother to have our attorney review it because it seemed fairly oh, simple. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So they have their way. Okay. Uh, Fire and department o MOU? There was a MOU from the, that the fire department has asked us to sign, and Brandy asked us to hold on to that until the next meeting because the auditor was going to have he a comment on it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which, as long as it's done the next meeting before mm -hmm. the fiscal year, because mm -hmm. it's based on the fiscal year. On the fiscal year. year. Fiscal year. Is that about, and there was also a bill from them asking. Did the auditor think it was okay to have to pay them the their truck fund and things like that? So it just sits in their account rather than ours. Is, did they the look at that at all? Also looking at um, well, yeah, he's looking at the MOU. Oh, okay. Um, I would love for it to change mm. so that we're not looking at a forty thousand dollar payment, payment July one. Right. Bye, Dave. Um, Bye, Dave. Take care. And then I'm looking at borrowing money um, to make it to October for our tax money to come in. Um, yeah, we, we've asked them to change that date. That for date a, for a while. For a while, they mm. see yeah. mm. It gets me that they've got two accounts for paying for equipment. They've got an equipment fund, mm -hmm. and then they've got a truck fund. But maybe their equipment means, you know, stuff. You know, well, the airbags, well, the, the air, you know. They have, they have a lot of equipment. And, and, they're not, and, they're not, and, they're, and, and they don't divulge much uh, in terms of their... their well, I don't know. Seems seems like no, they, they don't. They should be pressured into that. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway. Uh, so, yeah. It, not, their budget is quite detailed, but... It, it, if you really read their budget, you can figure out pretty much everything that they're spending funds on. Mm -hmm. You can figure out what they're spending, but you yeah. can't figure out what they got. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, like, yeah. do you have a <laughs> profile of everything that they mm -hmm. actually have? Well, I would think we got to have if we're going to keep putting money into it. I'm sure we have it. Yeah. Oh, I would doubt sure, it. I guess we don't have it. <laughs> getting a, I'm getting a, if I get a shake from Brandy, I, uh, <laughs> I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll say no. That's been asked by a lot yeah. of people around town that. Yeah. that they seem like they should divulge what they got. Mm -hmm. Well, if they, the, but they are they are a private organization. But yeah, but, but they're where spending our money. That's where it gets a little. That's where it gets a little wonky. Saying that the town's mm -hmm. responsible for. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Well, there's mm -hmm. a, a bigger conversation in here. There actually. is. Right. Um, <laughs> which doesn't need to. Yeah. You don't need to get into it. Yeah. So should we? Go into executive session and uh, take a little I guess we're quick break with, or whatever. Yeah. So the MOU for the fire department will be next mm -hmm. meeting. And that's next meeting. <clears throat> so I make a move motion that we close this part of the meeting and in a couple minutes start an executive session. It's uh, Eight, it's 7.45, and Michael and Chuck are going to stay for the executive session. And get so if you want to break down, we'll just... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> so, uh, motion, motion okay. on the table? Yeah. Uh, second? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay.